right, my friends. Welcome back. So this is going to be a quick video on explaining what we're going to be experimenting in the near future, per at least Gallup. So what we have here is this pointed end is facing north. Right underneath the cross, I have a black mark, and that's north, magnetic north for the Earth. And then uh, on this end over here, I got the south end, and that's represented by the angle of this one here. So I just hung up a wire. And one thing I noticed is that I have tension on it. And... The tension on the wire seems to be making the magnets move. So that tells me we're going to be experimenting frequencies and, and vibrations and frequencies of vibrations. And we're going to use this Gibbs Marisidum, Gibbs Maratus. And we're going to use this as our tension. And we'll pick up a couple wires here. These are guitar wires, um, obviously different chords, which would be great reference point to what we know about music. So laying those across would be good, but uh, copper and bismuth, somehow if I can get some bismuth wire, some steel wire, all right, so where are we going with this? All right, so this is my belief. That now that we have a reference point here of the angular position of how the... This is exciting, guys. How this angular is. I want to do Ed Lee Scallon. He talked about... the north, south, east, and west. And right here is a north to south. Now I need to get my reference and hang a wire up that's going to be east to west. And a couple things of experiments, a whole range of stuff comes to my mind, is one is putting tension on the wires that are going across here. We'll, we'll do these wires here that are following the north and south meridian, okay? I'll call it. And then we're going to do a east and west meridian, and we're going to put the same wires, but maybe opposite directions, sort of when a rainbow has a dual rainbow. If you take notice in the colors of the rainbow, they're opposite, like a mirror image. So we'll, we'll set that up, and what we're going to test here is, are we going to pick up any light voltage inside this wire. And is this wire, magnetic wire, I think this one here is a good strong gauge. Um, I'm going to have to say this is probably a good, God, I want to say 16 or 18. But regardless, it was just on a spool. I had a loose wire. But I believe also I want to try the 14 gauge um, with the plastic coating on it. Then I want to try some, I got some thinner wire. Um, I'm wondering if the collection of the natural medium's energy flowing, if you go perpendicular to east and west, that the flow will come out the other wire and what would be a capture wire. There's something here that I, I, I'm kind of getting tuned in that I'm not clear about, but leave your comments. Hope you guys enjoy. This is going to be a wild, wild west to all my amigos. On the learning how nature and as we use magnetism works together. This is cool shit. You guys, peace out.